strong, and air is fluid. Water can be both strong and fluid. Over time, it's strong enough to carve this rock. Or if I use my cup to stop its flow, it can adapt. It's flexible. It appears the day was a waste. On the contrary, I finally discovered her weakness. Feeling weak. I'm good at everything. From the moment we meet her, Ninjago makes it very clear who and what Nia is. She's passionate and logical. She is aggressive and doesn't give up easily. She doesn't like being told who or what to be. From the beginning, she is rigid and stubborn. Whenever she helps, she makes sure to do so in a way she defined for herself. In season five, Nia's world shakes. She has a decision laid out for her by destiny rather than making it herself. She's told that she's the water ninja and needs to begin training promptly. This discomposes Nia for numerous reasons. A. She is unyielding in how she defines herself. B. She doesn't like being told who to be. And C. She isn't instantly good at it. Nia hates being pitied, cared for, and feeling weak. The lesson she has to learn in this season is to be fluid and flexible with different circumstances. She also learns that you get dealt the hand you get dealt, but you have the ability to use that hand in your own way. <laughs> I, I, li I literally just said the, the, same, the same thing twice in, in, in two, diff two different ways. Thus, Nia eventually learns to embrace being the water ninja as a part of her identity and flourishes in it, as she does most things. So in season 15, when being faced with a good amount of the things she hates, being coddled, and feeling weak, the sacrifice is Nia embracing and taking on all the lessons she's learned. Nia is strong with something she barely understands and completely takes on the unknown. Something she would not have been able to do in earlier seasons. She allows her emotions to be the forefront of her decision. She spites what others who have spelt out her destiny in the past say and make her own choice. But most importantly to me is that she takes what's been done before and makes the conscious decision to do it her own way. By the end of the season, Nia has fully become everything that she was told she needed to be back in season five. She is completely fluid, n no pun intended, and instead of being a cruel fate like she had feared, it's freeing for her. She drops that rationale and the rigidity and fully emerges herself in joy and freedom. And to me at least, that's a beautiful display of her character development. You've never had to make a big sacrifice like that. And I hope you never do. Sometimes there are no good choices, Nia. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. I don't like crumbly cookies. I like chewy cookies. That's the way the cookie crumbles. No! No, no, no! Come back! 